So remember, I was trading Doogie and uh, Sniperu actually took profit at 100% right over here. When I started trading uh, using Sniperu, right, I forgot to configure the settings as far as uh, Sniperu transactions are concerned. So this is one of the reasons why if you guys really want to get very good results, you need to make sure that Sniperu uh, transaction settings are set properly. So you can either use dynamic GTO tip so that all your transactions are going to be going through, then you guys are going to do very well. So when you do that, it means none of your transactions are going to end up bouncing. So if you guys are not really uh, using sniper route to snipe and just basically uh, do your trades please consider using sniper route. so as you can see my balance has uh, improved and uh, do we have any positions so at the moment we do not have any positions and I have sort of closed all my trades and uh, that was a very good one so it happened in a very short period of time as you can see uh, it, it went like a 2x you know, it, it like literally went like a 2x on me and I sort of closed my trades as soon as I could. And this is one of the reasons why having an automated uh, system and a platform like this one can really help improve your trades. These are the trades that I've done today. So I've only, by the way, the first trade was uh, some sort of... Uh, you know, Fugazi type of trade because I was playing around with the settings. So this one wasn't really a good trade. But as you can see right over here, my second trade today is uh, absolutely nuts. You know, we've made like a, like, like a 2x already. Okay. Even though I'm using very, very um, limit, uh, well, very little funds, uh, it, it does work. And uh, this is one of the reasons why you have to try and tweak with very little amount of money. So now take a look at my uh, doogie trade. This one is probably going to be like a pump and dump. It's going to eventually go down. But it doesn't matter. What really matters is me making consistent profits. It really looks like Doogie really wants to sort of uh, go higher. So I really hope that you guys understand that you can really end up making a lot of money even by coins that are really not worth a lot of, um, well, in terms of its market cap. Because as you can see right over here, this coin is only 150,000 US dollars in terms of its market cap valuation. So there's absolutely no need for you to sort of only wait for coins to get into the millions. There has been a lot of trading opportunities. You know, there has been this particular trading opportunity right over there. There has been this amazing run up as well so this is one of the reasons why if you use the right filters right in case you guys are trying to figure out how i sort of stumbled across this particular amazing trade that was created about an hour ago right because as you can see right over here it was only created an hour ago so the filters that i'm using are these particular filters so i obviously saw it popping up on my graduated uh, filter right over here. And these are the settings that I have. The volume is around, uh, you know, 80,000 US dollars. And the minimum market cap is uh, 80,000 US dollars as well. And then the token age should be around 10 minutes. So these are the filters that I have. And then it just popped up on my radar. And I was able to, sort of, uh, you know, make 100%. As you can see from my previous orders right over here. So as far as uh, Sniper Roo is concerned, of course, you know, I just recently started using this amazing sort of uh, platform as far as uh, sniping a lot of these coins is concerned. And, uh, you know, I'm still figuring my way around it. So there's a lot of stuff that I need to learn. And I just figured that, uh, you know, as far as the auto sales are concerned, right? If you sort of, uh, you know, go to your settings, uh, let me just go back and try to show you. Um, so sniper rule, let's check it out. Uh, strategy. Yeah. So if you take a look at this, uh, you are able to see what presets you are currently trading on. 
whether it's the greed, take profit, or it's a simple auto sell. So right now, my configuration is on, is on the simple auto sell, and it's a very simple, basic one, which basically shows that it's going to take profit at 100% with a stop loss of about 50%. So this is the preset. But if you guys really want to go crazy with it, right, you can always go to the greed mm -hmm. and sort of get to manipulate it and do what you have mm -hmm. to do. So yeah, take a look at the greed uh, settings that I have. If it does a 2x, I sell 50%. My stop loss is at a 50%. That's a profit that I'm going to be able to get. So if it further does a 10x and I sell 50%, right? It really means I sell everything and I, I'm able to get about 0 0.5 Solana, okay? So this is a very good sort of uh, preset that I can use. But right now, currently as it stands... Uh, I'm not using the greed because I'm on the simple auto sell because I really believe the simple auto sell is going to help me, uh, you know, be very aggressive. So as you can see right now, Doogie is actually going crazy. It's going crazy, you know. If you guys have been trading it, if you guys have been using my filters, and this is one of the reasons why you guys definitely have to be part of my sniping academy because this is what we do on a daily basis and right now i actually showed you in real time with my executions and my profit pnl so we sort of slightly improved remember my pnl in yesterday's episode and you know the previous episode or, or you know like a few moments ago you saw the pnl now we have increased to almost one solana and i'm only using 0 0.1 to sell so as you can see this is what I'm usually using. So the order size is about 0.1 Solana. So this is what I'm using. Of course, this is not going to be a long trade for me. I'm going to be sort of exiting and just, well, as a matter of fact, I have exited, but I'm really regretting because I really believe, you know, I could have milked it further and more. But, you know, good things come to an end. And this is one of the reasons why you have to be disciplined. Overall, Sniper Rule is absolutely crazy all right ladies and gentlemen so i guess i figured out how to sort of uh, you know check out the pnl so you just simply uh go to position so here you've got the status um so you can select the wallet so right now this is my main wallet and uh, let's say for example if i had to rely on doogie right uh, and basically these are all the the tokens that i have traded by the way uh, these other two tokens were accidentally purchased uh, yesterday. Remember when I was making the tutorial on, uh, you know, like how to use Sniper, right? So I was giving you an example of how to use it. And this is one of the reasons why I just randomly chose coins. So these, you know, don't consider these as part of my history. So I started trading today and Doogie was my first actual, actual real trade. And take a look at this. I had 93.07 and 91.42%. So this is almost a, an instant 100% profit. So take a look at this. Uh, initially, my, um, uh, what do you call this? The the, the balance of uh, increased and we were able to like uh, have uh, that amount of money. And, uh, you know, we saw it here, um, at the entry and the exit. So my entry, as you can see, was at 75,000 US dollars and my exit was 144,000 US dollars. And then for the second entry, uh, I was at 78.44K uh, 78 and then I go out at 151,000 right over here. So let me just sort of uh, get rid of the other tokens because they were like you know, for testing purposes only. And if you take a look at Doogie, Doogie, D-U-G-I, is still popping. It's still going. You know, this is not really a buy recommendation for D-U-G-I. Please do not buy this because I'm recording right now and probably by the time you're going to be seeing it, it's probably going to go crazy. But take a look at how precise my entry was. I literally entered around these levels. So let me show you. This is where I bought this coin. Uh, sorry, uh, let me just get rid of that, at around uh, 75. This is where I sniped the hell out of that token, around this particular level. And to be precise with you, it was around this level. This is where I entered because I can show you the time frame. Uh, am I able to show you the time frame? Yeah, so it was like right here around uh, uh, 9, uh, 947, okay? So this is precisely the entry that i got this 
dump right over here. So this is one of the reasons why everything that I talk about, I do practice what I preach. And we sniped the shit out of this particular coin, okay? Granted, uh, it's all of, uh, already bonded. So this is where it bonded from, from this level, okay? It reached its bonding curve. Um, honestly, I could have gotten in here, but remember, my sniper rule, uh, tra uh, what do you call transaction settings? So if we go to sniper rule, and we go to the transaction settings. I didn't really put it on dynamic GTO tip. So this is one of the reasons why I missed this particular snipe. Because usually my trading strategy is to sort of uh, get in, um, you know, right before it migrates to radium. So I want that particular sweet spot as it is graduating to radium or if it immediately hits radium that particular threshold so there are two points as it is about to hit the bonding curve boom you snipe or if it hits radium i want to be one of the first people buying as soon as it hits radium so that's my sniping strategy okay and sniper rule is really really helping me so you guys if you haven't deposited money in sniper rule trust me you do not know what you are missing i'm only using 0 0.1 solana because number one i want to build my discipline i want to be disciplined you get my point so this is one of the reasons why i'm not going crazy if i went in with tons uh, with 10 solana uh this would have affected the charts because of the slippage you understand so it's in order for you to like practice and become a better trader use extremely small funds so that when you get in you know, there's no liquidity in this particular project. There's only 169,000 US dollars. So it doesn't really make sense for you to go crazy. Even using one Solana is really going to affect the prices like crazy. So this is one of the reasons why I am, uh, you know, improving my precision by not really affecting the charts. Okay, so this is one of the reasons why I want each and every one of you guys to use 0 0.1 Solana and work your way to the top. 0 0.1 Solana, if you lose it, it doesn't really matter. You understand? Okay, so use the least amount of money that you can lose and then just become a better trader. So promise me you guys are going to become better traders. I've already showed you everything. I've already showed you the filters. I've already told you the trading psychology and what you're supposed to be doing. If you haven't seen that, any of my videos go go to my youtube channel watch all these episodes you know especially on how to find and trade solana meme coins i usually give you bullet points on how to go about it lastly be part of the sniper academy send me an email 2019 next up at gmail.com i'll tell you what to do how much to pay in order for you to be part of the sniper academy and just basically improve your trading trust me this is going to be one of the best decisions of your life as you can see i started using sniper rule literally less than two days ago take a look at my pnl okay this is crazy if we do this every hour we're going to end up being millionaires by the end of 2025. So now take a look at this. It's obviously dumping. The trade is already out. I'm already out because I got my 100% and I'm happy. So on to the next one.